first things first before I even make it there. Hallelujah. The queen is still a queen, even without a crown. Rest assured. In order for you to overcome something, you have to have the mindset. Baby, all this braiding I've been doing. Oh, it's we're going to have to get it together and I don't have moves, so we're going to have to be creative. It is birthday prep season. My birthday is in a couple days. This is the second day of me braiding and it is a little bit after 11. So I plan to maximize this hour to finish braiding my hair. I did make a wig of this, which you guys will see in this video and this video I, it'll be on either side of the I've screen just been reflecting just like every year and just i'm going to be 34. where has the time gone really where has the time go i would like to know where where has the time gone <laughs> first things first before i even make it there hallelujah thank the lord for being able to even reach a point where I'm nearly a couple days to my birthday. There's a couple things that I'd like to do, but because I, y'all gonna have to stay tuned and, and please watch all the way through. So I would appreciate it if you can't it, send me money or anything like that, share a playlist. That's the best gift you could give, share a playlist. But this is water wave hair I got from Amazon. I am a overcomer. It reminds me of this scripture here. It says, I'm the head and not the tail, above and not beneath. I'm an overcomer. I walk in victory. We're definitely amongst that theme. I have a lot of reflections to share, which I'll share near the end of this vlog. <sighs> I'm trying not to give away the surprise, so I'm... <sighs> Let's finish up this hair. Now, normally I would have tried to start the week, at least a week before my birthday. But this, this year is shaping up to be a bit different. But it is two days before my birthday. I have already got my hair done and I'll include the aftermath of it all. Me twisting the hair to what it is now. Wound up with passion twists instead of braids. It's okay. <laughs> Definitely going to do a pedicure. Definitely a set of nails. The only thing is I won't be able to, that I know of. To go out and eat on my birthday so i'm thinking about waiting until the weekend of my birthday later this week and i will share that with you all if that will be if i'm able to do it it'll be in the vlog this 33rd year was definitely a challenge when i tell you <laughs> and it fueled me up for chapter 34 i'm ready for 34. found a gray hair while i was braiding my hair I almost said bars, but then I said here twice. Anywho, the fact that I'm here to see another, you know, say, like, well, that's, that's one gray hair. I have about two. I need to set up. I don't want to really do much on my birthday, to tell you the truth, but I do have to set up here. You guys will understand it a little bit. I, I've shifted my decluttering and cleaning and sweeping through the house I like to call it throughout the living room so I'll do a little bit of that but then I'll really rack back up after my full birthday celebration is over let's get to it
is officially a little bit after one in the morning and it is now the day before my birthday you know what happens when your birthday is in the middle of a weekday i mean your birthday is in the middle of the week yeah i am going to have to quickly go to bed have a little help from um Dr. Till sleep spray because I got to get the pedicure done and the nails because we have the hair done. I really just honestly I did not feel like filming the whole hair process plus I've done a live stream here with me kind of prepping and starting everything so I'm like why rehash it again because by the time this come out you'd be done seeing it. I honestly have to say I I'm just really excited to start chapter 34. A little color theme in mind from a pedicure. I got a little color theme in mind from my nails. I already been thinking about it a while leading up to my birthday. And I'm not giving no hints. Okay. <laughs> but I'm going to catch you all later and get <laughs> slept pretty good that's the typical thing that i do for my birthdays the earliest i woke up was maybe seven eight ish went back to sleep again still morning we gotta get ready photo shoot day is today and by the time you guys see this you will have already seen that oh this is annoying to me so I'm heading out to take my photos for my birthday photo shoot. I waited last time last year to the day of to do the photo shoot photos, but they essentially worked out really, really great. It's a little late to take photos, but still daylight out. But that live should be up. Let's go ahead and conquer. Let's see what I want to do. Let's see. Queen is still a queen, even without a crown. Rest assured. So I got about four good shots, and these mosquitoes eating me up out here. Holiday, and as much as I want to go out for dinner, I'm gonna have to cook mine. But there's going I'm still planning to go out to dinner. Let's see what we're gonna be eating. I'm excited because it's the day after my birthday. So I, I enjoyed it and I wound up having a little meal subway and I'm really, really thankful for that. Thank you to everyone. By the time you guys see that, it'll be past my birthday. But 
I want to thank you all again for those who have left the birthday wishes, any gifts or whatever. And of course, I'm not prone to show them for safety reasons, you know. Okay, it's obvious there. And for those who will leave birthday messages when they see this video, when it drops. Be going out to dinner today. Not sure at the time, but going, going. And um, this is a place they've had a food truck for years. And it's been... About as long as I was on my plant-based eating journey, even into now, up until today, I've not eaten their food. And I found out that they opened up a restaurant some years back, I guess within that time, that was plant-based. So I missed out on a lot of good food, okay? I don't know if we will have voiceovers for any of this or anything, but I've practically eaten everything on their menu sans all the new stuff they've added to the menu this is about to be amazing i gotta figure out what to wear i'm not wearing the same thing like i wore before i don't want something to be cute let us see and i'm already i've already done my makeup so there's there's that <laughs> this is gonna be freaking epic amazing <laughs> So I just came back from Charm City. So I just came back from my birthday dinner at Charm City, as a matter of fact. Baby, the way I cleared out the, the famous crab dip, I thought about asking for the recipe. I wouldn't dare do it. I'm just, that to me, that's a compliment. That That's the compliment I want to extend. I don't ever like to talk while I'm eating. They've added more things to their menu. The um, flatbread, crab dip, flatbread, seafood's worth the cost. Baby, you know how you ain't, ain't you know how, <laughs> the itis is obviously taking over. I'm still trying to get the last bit of this sauce out of here. You hear me? Service, top notch. Restaurant, top notch. Food, I already knew it was going to be top notch. Did y'all see the food? So I'm giving y'all the plug. Please don't sell 
please please don't sell out all the food leave some for me you are ever in polk county florida where charm city is located in bartow swing by there tell them i sent you super grouper the regular grouper there's a difference in between toppings and the, the crab that will change your life that's sorry that's my opinion <laughs> crabby patty there there's a real crabby patty one so not sponge but there's a real one there's and it's good i can attest to that <sighs> i am full i am grateful and i am full not just food wise but I'm also full. <laughs> yeah. I'm just, just, just full from, from within. I do not know how long this vlog is going to be, but you know, the celebration does, does not yet end here. I just have no words. The food is, go try the food. Charm City, Jimmy's. Famous Seafood Express. They have a food truck. That's how I first found out about them. They now have a restaurant here, Polk County, in Bartow, Florida. Kung Pao Tacos, I think they still... That's good. It's good. As you can see, I'm very familiar with the, with the menu. I'm not going to close out just yet. I'm a resto, and I'm going to see y'all in a bit. I've awakened from, from a nap. That that food put me, I mean, it gave me the itis. Some of the best sleep I've ever had in a long, long, long time. Have you ever had such good food in um, Tarum? <laughs> and, and you have such a great nap. Mm. Hallelujah. That's me. I woke up refreshed, which means I'm probably not likely to go to sleep tonight or either sleep tonight and get up really really early both of which is fine with me as i have been anticipating the weeks and the days leading up to chapter 34 it's the overcoming chapter for me and i say that just because the, these last, the majority of this year has been really challenging. The, the Bible speaks very boldly and matter-of-factly. We are overcomers. We are the head, not the tail. Above and not beneath. It, it, it's speaking to our position in which we are, we, we should stand we should look at ourselves like we, there's nothing about us that is of a a lower stature. There's nothing about that says, okay, we're defeated. No, God. <laughs> this the, the, I'm trying to put this into words, but this is the overcoming chapter for me. Despite the fact that the majority of this year has been very trying for me, this time around, I have a mindset of overcoming, overcoming. In order for you to overcome something, you have to have the mindset. Deuteronomy 28 verse 13. I started to put on the crown again, but then I was reminded that I don't always need to have the crown on for it to be a reminder of me being a queen. Because if I position myself like one and walk like one, there's no need for that external, you see what I'm saying? Not all the time. I'm going gonna, I'm, I'm gonna to keep it because I have the memory of it and, and the photos and the pictures and everything. That is what I will leave with you. I think that I just kind of was like, look, look, we need to replenish you with a nap. <laughs> the grouper is the, I'm going to stop talking about it. Go get you some. You got vacation now. Are you plan to go on vacation and, you know, the most tender, flaky, juicy. I'm, I'm going to stop. <laughs> that, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes my entire celebration of my birthday.
I love each and every one of you and I do hope that something within this vlog resonated with you. Maybe several things have resonated with you. And I will see you all next time. One more time though about this group. Of, I, I promise one more time. One more time. So flaky and so juicy, I'm in love. Will you bring me another? I'm gonna stop. <laughs>